you like to be read to? Yeah, I love books. Whenever I go into a bookstore, can you guess, I'm looking for a quiet hand, can you guess which section of the bookstore I visit the most? What section do you think I, you know, they have different areas of the bookstore? What section, Nicholas, do you think I go to the most? The nonfiction. That's close. That's close. Another guess. Fiction. Fiction? Fiction's good? I love the children's books. Because I'm always thinking about my children. I'm always thinking about you and how you're doing and what you might like. And so I was in a bookstore in the children's section and I found this beautiful book and it's called, Who Will You Be? Now I need a helper. Rohan, I'm gonna ask you, cause I'm gonna take the paper off of the book so I don't ruin it as I'm reading. Can you hold this paper very gently for me? Okay, thank you, sweetheart. So when I read books, I really like to take a long time and let everyone see the pictures. So you will all see the pictures, I promise. And I usually do something like this. Right? Yeah. So I like to show the pictures and give everyone an opportunity to see what the picture is for a, a pretty long period of time. I don't, I don't like rush. <laughs> so, I appreciate you all. You're in listening position. You are ready, and we're going to start. This book is by Andrea Pippins. She's the author of this book. She wrote this story. Who will you be? And on the inside, I wrote a dedication to the KB class. And it says to KB from Miss Fredericks, my wish for you is to be happy. You guys are some very happy children. I know, because I saw you in PE. Remember when I snuck into PE? <clears throat> Who will you be? My child, my little one. And this is a mother writing to their child. My child, my little one. Who will you be when you are grown? There's loving kindness in your eyes, like your daddy. Very kind, sweet, gentle eyes, like many of you. And boldness in your heart, like your grandma. Will you be like them? Boldness? Bold is when you can, um, so let me ask you this. Have you ever had a time when you had to help a friend or stand up for a friend who you felt wasn't being treated very nicely? And sometimes you have to be bold and you have to make a decision that might not be popular. Yeah, Scott? One time my friend said I was bold. You said, they said you were bold? Yeah, with no bold. Okay. So sometimes we have to just say things that are right because they're the right thing to say, even though someone may not want us to say it. So that's being bold. Good question. Your cousin, Carlina, is loved, loud and joyful. Will you be like her? Raise your hand if you can tell me what it looks like Carlina is doing. Yeah. What? Dancing. Your brother watches the changing clouds. Will he do that with you? How many of you like to lie on your back, either in the grass, and watch the clouds? I love doing that. They make different shapes. I look at them, but I see nothing. <laughs> <laughs> 
When you blow me a kiss, you're loving like your grandpa. And your cousin Gigi, who gives big hugs, you're loving like her too. Hold on one second, Ethan. Your big dark eyes take in the, in the world. Will you be curious like your uncle? And beauty, find beauty in all that you see, like Miss Jess. So they are in an art gallery looking at all of the different pictures and taking in all the beauty and all the art. I know you all had art this week, yeah? yeah? And you made some beautiful things in art. And be bound for adventure like your auntie. Look at auntie. Where is, raise your hand if you can guess what auntie is doing. A grill. Camping. How many of you camp? Love to camp. Love to camp. That is an adventure all in itself, isn't it? Um, Hold on one, one minute. Amina makes cakes and pies. Will you do that too? I hope. I hope so too. I'd like some cake. I'm a cookie maker myself. Will you be compassionate? like Alessandra, who, who can tell me what it means to be compassionate? Look at that picture. What is Alessandra doing that makes her compassionate? Cynthia. Yeah. She's giving hugs. Dogs need hugs. People need hugs. Little sisters and brothers, big sisters and brothers need hugs, right? Everybody needs hugs. That's compassion. And I need hugs too. Yeah. <laughs> You're right. And little one, will you be grateful? Oh, so grateful, like me. My wish is that you will be all these things and more. You will be your own self. For no one in the world has ever been like you. There is one you in this world, and no one is like you. And all of us as adults, our wish is for you to be yourselves. And as I said earlier, mine is for you to be happy. And this I know, my child, whoever you will be, I will love you forever. Your parents tell you they love you all the time? Yeah. Good feeling, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Good feeling. So this is your book. I will take that back now. Thank you so much, Rohan. Ethan, you had your hand up. Did you have a question?